everyone welcome back if you couldn't figure it out by the intro we are officially in our 1989 era and we're going to be dipping into dip powders today from 915 aesthetics and we're also going to be playing with those retro 1989 decals from nails truly in just a little bit here but we're starting off today with my opinion definitely a color you need to add to your collection this color right here it's called vanilla the name speaks for itself it is a salad but yet it has a very very just a hint of warmth to it which I love so much. If you love a white mani, this color is going to be a go-to for you. Plus, wedding season is coming up, and this would be a great color for a bride, a bridesmaid, or even just to rock during wedding season yourself. If you like nail art or a decal placement, this is a great background because it's not going to be that super harsh white. It's just a very delicate color. It's beautiful in the name, definitely speaks for itself. Now I'm going to say it again, 915 Aesthetics has by far the best, and I mean best, solid dip powders I have ever used. That's a bold statement, but it is true. I love these salads so much. They're buttery, they're soft, they're super finely milled, and they are not patchy or chalky. Sometimes, especially with the lighter colors, when you're working with salads, they can be super grainy. You can see like white specks in it. Nothing like this has ever happened to me in my experience with playing with 915 Aesthetics. And we have done a large variety of color dimension when it comes to 915 salads. We played with super dark colors and we played with the lightest colors and then colors in between. We're dipping in a Baja, but we had to take a moment to look at these beautiful jars. Yes, it's just a jar that holds powder, but it's very aesthetically pleasing. There's something about the lid with that beautiful flower on it. I really like when a company just makes their packaging their own. So you know when you see that jar with that beautiful flower, you know it's 915 Aesthetics. Now the moment I saw this color, it screamed Taylor's version 1989. So Taylor Swift leaves Easter eggs for us. And one of her eras show she has different outfit changes for each era. She had blue outfits, which represents 1989. And then that night of the blue outfits, she announced to us that 1989 Taylor's version was being released. So I knew we had to incorporate this color. So what we're doing for this Manny is we're kind of incorporating both eras. So Taylor Swift is re-recording all her music. In 1989, Taylor's version is like this blue right here. It's also very beachy vibes. The first 1989 before the remake was um, her with that short bob that you saw in the beginning with the white glasses and the classic red lip. And it was very New York-y um, kind of vibe, like city, big city. Um, but the new 1989 version is very just like beachy kind of theme. And so I knew like we needed to tie best of both worlds. So that's why we're pulling in Baja. It's going to be that just like iconic blue that we're all loving right now. And then we're going to throw in some classic 1989 imagery with those decals. So we kind of have best of both worlds when it comes to this 1989 inspired Manny. All right, so Baja with the second dip, it is everything. It's bright, it's rich in color. You can really see that color difference there. So then what I did is I did the rest of the dips of Baja off camera and I also did the filing and buffing. Filing and buffing routine was the same. I just gently cleaned up the sidewalls and reshaped ever so slightly. I did not buff directly on top of these powders because everything was laying really flat. So now what I'm doing is I am curing as I go. I'm doing a layer of gel base on all the nails. So what I'm doing here is it's sealing in the powders after filing and buffing, but once it's cured, it's also gonna give these nails a tacky layer, which is really gonna help us have a smooth application with the decals because then those decals are gonna stick down really nicely. It's also gonna give us a little bit of wiggle room to gently move around with those decals. So you can see what this mani looks like before decals, that these powders and the colors are beautiful. And now we're gonna go into this 1989 decals here. So of course we had to do a middle nail here with Taylor in the 1989. And I love this one right here. It's kind of like the opening scene here of the intro of the video where she has that bob cut and then she has those sunglasses on. So it's really fun. So my decal right here kind of folded over and I'm just gently straightening it out here. I like to use a jelly stamper because I can get um, the decal kind of exactly where I want it on the nail. I can see where I'm placing it 
and then I can just gently press that jelly stamper down to adhere the decal to. Jelly stamper is totally optional, but I feel like I can get the decal to lay really flat before application, which then once you press it on the nail, it just kind of helps with the whole process of having like a smooth application. So I'm also placing the decals in room temperature water. I am placing them in there for about 15 seconds, but I am showing you right now, we have a little Swifty decal kind of hanging out in that water. That decal was probably in there for a little over a minute. So I wanted to show you that you know, you can leave decals in water a little bit longer. If you have any reds or anything like that, I definitely would not recommend just in case those colors start bleeding. Um, but this little guy was hanging out in the water for a little over a minute and I had no problems or anything like that. So this one right here has Swifty on it and I really love the font as well. It's very 1989 era. So each era of Taylor Swift or each album has its own font, its own color, its own imagery so it's just really fun and she also leaves easter eggs throughout any like instagram post any music video um anything she does anything she's wearing like that dress from the Glo golden globe awards that is definitely giving us hints for reputation era because that is like snake like her dress so she leaves easter eggs for us and she leaves easter eggs out for like three years out and we're all sitting here trying to figure it out so we're all trying to be detectives so it's just like a really fun community. And even if you just like appreciate her music or just like a few songs, that was just a little bit of background on like the whole Swifty 1989 Easter egg thing, but that could be a whole video in itself. But we're gonna regroup here and get back to our nails. All right, so now what we're doing is now that we have the decals on the nail, I am taking this flat brush with a little bit of acetone and now I am just gently pressing down on that decal ever so lightly and then I'm feathering out the sides just to have this decal lay super, super flat and become one with the nail. So you're not gonna see like where the decal starts or finishes, it's gonna be flush to the nail. So that is a technique that I love to do with application. And then once this nail is completely dry, I go ahead and just gently tap down on that decal. And then I'm gonna seal it up right away with a layer of gel base, just to make sure this, decal doesn't like accidentally start lifting up or anything like that I'm going to seal it in completely with a layer of gel base and cure for 30 seconds so I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other nails here now this brush that I'm using right now it is a flat brush it is from Sundar Nails it is by far the best flat brush I have ever used for decals and I have about six of them anytime I place an order now I am buying one of these brushes because I love them so much they are a staple for nail art putting gels um, builder gels, non-sticky gels, anything with nail art or decals. They are great and they're very soft. So basically what you're doing is when you are applying the acetone to this brush, naturally decals do not like acetone. Okay. So it's going to it dissolve it. So you really want a brush that has like the most like softest bristles ever. So anyone can use a flat brush. Yes. It doesn't have to be this brand but there's something about how soft and delicate these br these bristles are that really make it awesome for decal application. So right now this decal is it's longer so it's hanging over that free edge and the cuticle line. So I am just melting away that extra decal that's hanging underneath the nail just ever so carefully. But if you never use the acetone method here um, that I'm doing right now, I don't know if it's like a thing. I just tried it one day and I really loved it. But if you never tried it and you want to try it before you go ahead and spend all that time on a mani definitely recommend trying it on a swatch stick first or you could practice decal placement on jelly tips that are not your size um, so you can just you know practice on that first but i really like this method and it just makes the application so seamless so i did the rest of the acetone and gel base on the rest of the nails and now we're going to seal it in now with a layer of gel top coat and cure for 60 seconds and i'm going to finish up the rest of the nails off camera and then here's our finished 1989 taylor swift inspired manny these colors are everything just the colors i cannot get enough of i love it so much i love baja it's giving me all that 1989 vibes and then vanilla is just like the softest most beautiful vanilla color that you need in your life and that only do we have great background colors we also added these really awesome 1989 Taylor Swift decals. Now these decals are part of a January exclusive from Nails Truly. We have been diving into all of the different eras here on my channel. 
and 1989 is definitely a fun one I would say I always say this is like my favorite era after we're done with it but I don't know I think like all the Taylor Swift manis that we did on my channel during this little series I have kind of been my favorite they're just really fun and not only did we just like put some decals on we really just tied in each era and theme as we went like with the colors and everything so it's just made it really fun to do so overall I really loved how this mani turned out and don't forget if these colors from 915 aesthetics were not your cup of tea head over to the website there are tons of beautiful colors and combinations you're definitely going to find something that catches your eye also these decals that we use in the video today can be found in that description box below so I hope you enjoyed this really fun Taylor Swift 1989 era mani and I'll see you all in the next one.